What happens when you combine 3JS with physically correct lighting and materials with a physics engine? Let's see if we can achieve a liquid glass effect. If you want to get a grip on the basics of 3JS, check out my course, Learn 3JS Basics, available at summer discount pricing. I want to give a special shout out to the folks at Exponent for making me a brand ambassador. Check them out to ace your next technical interview. To get started, we're going to start here. The link in the description for the starter code. It's already set up the 3JS scene and the physics. Check out any of my physics videos for more details on how to set this up. Okay, from here, I want to change the image to, I think it's called Garden Party or something like that. Studio Garden 4K. Let's start there because we're going to get immediate bang for our buck. Let's kill the blurriness so we have a nice crisp background. And isn't it cool how this 3JS scene appears integrated with that garden party? What? Studio Garden. Except if you zoom in and out, then it doesn't work. What if I disable zoom? Uh, I kind of want to do that. So where's the control? Here it is. CTRLS dot enable zoom. Yeah, equals false. Does that work? Yeah, it works. Now we just feel integrated in, this, in the scene. Great. I'm going to go to my Metaballs project. Check out my previous video on this if you're interested. I'm going to go to my Metaballs project and I'm going to just copy and paste the Metaballs code into here. It's called Marching Cubes. Let's go grab it. Okay, and below the mouse ball code. I'm going to add the metaballs, just paste it in here. Um, let's leave it exactly as, as it is right now and save, and it should blow up. We need to import, actually, we need to define the madcap too. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to import marching cubes though. Thank you. That handles that. This is no longer madcap material. Let's make it a mesh Lambert material. Get rid of this, save it. Great. Now in our animation loop here, I'm going to t render, let's see how to word it here, right here, this metaballs.userdata.update. And if I save that, it's gonna explode. Um, I need to do a little bit of refactoring to the get bodies method here. The scene I copied this from has a previous version of get bodies, which had been refactored. So they no longer have the same API, so to speak. Um, 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 um. What I want to do is return pause. Okay. That gets us closer and also remove this. Here it is. This get hex. Don't no, no longer need this. The color I'm returning now is a hex. Okay, there's this weird displacement happening. And I think it's because the physics simulation, the guys are way too big. Let's confirm that by turning on this debug view. Um, well, it doesn't look like it, does it? Ooh, that's really cool. Unfortunately, our metaballs are not lining up, and I'm not sure why. Pause dot multiply scale. Oh, that's interesting. Let's try that. Let's make it a tenth as big. I, I like that. Like that. Okay, there, there it is. So this line right here. Thank goodness, this line saves the day. Our simulation got super slow. Let's just reduce the number of balls and get rid of that and get bodies. Let's reduce it down to how about 40. And I think our simulation is now reasonable again. Already looking awesome. 
I must say. Okay, let's just talk about this for a second. I'm reducing by a factor of 10 this, uh, this position variable. And interestingly, that's what links it up. That's what syncs it up, I should say, with the metaballs. Um, I don't know if I, that makes a difference if I do that. I don't really want to mess with that. I'm going to get rid of this mesh that's set position because, um, because, and I'm also getting rid of the rotation. Just a little cleanup. Okay, back to index. Turn off the debug render. Now we just have the blob. And let's mess around with this material until we get that liquid glass look as advertised. We want to get that liquid glass look. So where's our metaballs? Here's our metaballs. There's the material. Let's change this to a mesh physical material. That's where the magic is going to happen. And already it looks like this. Kind of cool. Like milk. Colorful milk. Ah, oh, that looks delicious. I'm going to reduce the number of metaballs so we can see the influence of our mouse a little bit more. So half as many metaballs. Yeah, like that. Already looks amazing. Um, I don't think I need that vertex color. Does that make a difference? It kind of does. Look, it's kind of a darker milk now. Interesting how the vertex colors made it look so much better. Yeah, looks so much better. Um, let's do transmission. Uh, 0 0.9 is fine. I want roughness to be zero, metalness to be zero, and I want transparent to be true. Let's see what happens now. Okay. Um, I'm gonna turn off the colors. Is it more clear now? Yeah, it's kind of ghostly. So check this out. If we make transmission one, it'll make it totally effing clear. And now the thickness, playing with the thickness is going to give us some nice liquid glass effects. There, now it's like a soap bubble without the um, rainbow. Turn up the thickness to 0.5. Yeah, look at that. Play with the thickness. Um, if you make it 3.0, it's going to be pretty hard to see anything, I think. It's really lensy, so to speak. Oh, it's beautiful though. Play around. Let's say I'm going to set the thickness to one. How's that look? Yeah, it looks great. Try increasing the roughness a little bit to get like a blurred, a little bit of a blur effect. Or a lot. Turn it up a lot. Yeah. It's like frosted glass kind of, but way too frosted. Let's reduce the frosty. Yeah, look at that. Also a cool effect. Um, I'll leave the roughness at zero. You could try, you could try applying a normal map to this to see what happens. You could, you, let's turn on the colors again, see what happens. Oh, that's pretty cool. We're assigning a color to each one of these little balls. And now you can kind of see it once they get separated. It's really hard to kind of blow them apart though. I think if I go to get bodies, get my mouse ball, increase the size of this collider to double, now I should be able to blow them apart more easily. Like that. There's uh, the rigid body surrounding my mouse is really big. So that's what's happening there. That's so cool. Something to try would be to play with an instance mesh to see if that improves in performance and then build the meta, meta balls, the marching spheres on top of that. I'm not sure it would make a difference, but it's worth trying. Yeah. Anyway, thanks so much for coming by. If you enjoyed this and you know of someone you think might dig it, Share this with them. It really helps my channel grow. Thanks so much for coming by. I'll see you in the next one.